As we wait a final decision on Roe versus Wade, we are taking a closer look at what could happen at the state level if it's overturned. 26 states, including Michigan, are certain or likely to ban abortion. That's according to the Guttmacher Institute, a nonprofit that researches reproductive rights worldwide. Of those states, 13 have so-called trigger laws designed to ban all or nearly all abortions and only go into effect if Roe v. Wade is struck down. We've explored the immediate impacts of overturning Roe versus Wade, especially here in Michigan, but we're also taking a look at the potential long-term impacts. 13 On Your Side's Carla Byron talked with a University of Michigan law professor who specializes in Supreme Court history. Carla, what does he think? Well, Richard Friedman says various things could happen over a 10 year period. Corporate America may be impacted as well as pro choice organizations. Roe v. Wade was all about two competing values, a woman's autonomy and the potential of human life. Richard Friedman, a University of Michigan law professor, says Roe v. Pro Wade was an unusual right decision, decision because it set up a trimester framework. It drew criticism almost immediately for being almost legislative in nature. Roe made the judgment that early on in the pregnancy, the, uh, the, the, the woman's right to personal autonomy took uh, precedence. And later on in the pregnancy, the, uh, the state's interest in protecting that potential human life, if it wanted to, uh, became stronger. Friedman has read Justice Alito's initial draft abortion opinion and says the basic reasoning is there was never any justification for Roe. That Roe has not made the issue go away, that it's ensnared the Supreme Court in a lot of um, unpredictable, difficult uh, issues, and that uh, the court ought to go back to first principles and under first principles. Uh, this is an issue that belongs with the people. As far as the long-term impact, Friedman believes one thing that can happen is pro-choice organizations devoted to helping women gain access to abortions will gain enormous amounts of money. I think many uh, women, even if they can't afford it on their own, are going to, uh, f who are in states where abortion will be illegal, are going to uh, get the support that they need to be able to travel elsewhere. He adds corporate America and organizations over the coming years will be wary of doing business in states that put tight restrictions on abortions. Friedman says a substantial majority of Americans favor allowing abortion in the early stages in the pregnancy and less support allowing abortion later on. So a compromise of sorts or a national consensus would be 13 or 15 weeks. Some states would come to that easily and others won't. But over the years, states that restrict abortions more may appear too extreme. Kirk.